what is going on today guys we are back for another episode in darkness falls now today we are heading over to the wasteland uh we do have to go get ourselves a little bit of titanium um and we need to level up so we can start uh getting into the mastery of the labor now we're going to be taking all of this stuff with now we're not going to be putting it on until we get over there and when we're in the burnt biome itself we're not going to be wearing the hazmat gear just because uh, we'll want the extra protection for our armor in in cases of certain things that we'll be doing. So anyway, what we're going to have to do is we're going to be taking uh, a bedroll with us. And the bedroll is for once we get into the wasteland. I always take a bedroll with uh, for in the wasteland. Now my game kind of crashed and I went to uh, exit the door and this thing just changed to F for some reason. Uh, I have no idea why, but... Um, I went to went to leave and that changed to F and my game crashed. So I, I kind of got I kind of got a bit of a kick out of that. Unfortunately, it, it crashed my recording too. Uh, I had actually started the episode and it crashed like that. So anyway, I, th I got a kick out of that. But enough about that. Uh, we do have two quests from Eve the Survivor. Now, there's one thing I did not mention in the last in the last video. The one we are actually on right now. Is going to be the test now the reward is kind of a special place uh, I didn't mention this in the last quest because it was or the last episode because it's something that um, I just forgot to mention but the reward is actually a quest for the military bunker itself now the lovely part about this quest is not just the fact that it uh, the location it's at but you can double loot the place with this quest so it's going to be absolutely fantastic for getting a lot of good stuff and also for farming the place because there is something i do want to show you guys about uh, the military bunker itself um, i will be making a guide video on it first before i show uh, exactly what i'm what i'm talking about um, but you guys will see that later on uh, we also made ourselves an m60 which is unfortunately part of our crashed recording um, so I was going to start getting some mods ready for that, but I think today we're just going to head over to the wasteland. Um, I, I'll worry about, uh, I'll worry about getting the mods and stuff like that done for it, like off camera overnight. Um, so that's not something that we're going to, we're going to worry about. So today, like I said, this episode is going to be all about heading over to the wasteland. It's going to be about getting ourselves some titanium getting the mastery for our uh, laborer class and we're going to potentially depending on how long it takes us over here um, we are going to potentially be making our new tools as well so just gonna head off kind of to the west here uh, it's a little bit southwest ish um, we need to fill up our motorcycle here but anyway I'll meet you guys over there in just a minute all right, guys, so we're rolling up over here on our quest area. Um, I think what we're going to do is before we actually do the quest, I think we should go into the wasteland itself and go get ourselves the titanium and maybe do a little bit of exploring while we're in there just to see what we can find. And there we go. Nice hit there. Alright, let's go grab this loot bag quick, then we're going to pop on our hazmat gear. There's a, a buck. There we go. That was for a quest, by the way. Uh, I have that uh, buy the farm challenge. So Anyway, let's pop all these on. Now, some of these will replace our armor, and the other ones will replace our pieces of clothing. So, not a whole lot we can do about that. Um... We are very low on gas, too, I see, which is most unfortunate. Ooh, there we go. Bad shooting. As you'll notice, I do have a brass catcher mod. Uh, we unlocked the advanced brass catcher, so I got that made up. That was actually something that was in part of the crashed recording that just uh, completely went away. Uh, I was able to recover another chunk, though, but uh, not, not the one part of it. So anyway... Enough about that. I'm not going to go for that loot bag. Let's get into the wasteland here. We got ourselves our full thing of hazmat gear. 
So let's get on in here and let's see what we can find. Find ourselves a little bit of titanium. Um, if you guys are seeing this video, you guys will have seen uh, my guide to finding ores in the wasteland. I made up a video because I know the wasteland can be kind of a pain when it comes to finding uh, ores. So I decided to make that video up for you guys. Now you guys will notice as soon as we cross, we cross the line into here. You'll notice there is some pretty nasty, nasty stuff in here. So, this ought to be fun. Always fun coming to the wasteland, I mean. I think we pissed off a few more than just one. There's another one coming. Oh, he's not even... He's not even feral. Alright, let's get our... Did I not bring it? Oh, I wanted to bring a bedroll with. Eh, uh, oh well. We'll risk it, I suppose. I don't like to risk it without a bedroll. You know, we could actually just pop up some plant fiber quick. Oh, go away, snake. Alright. Get ourselves this bedroll made up. Uh, I always like to have a bedroll when I come to the wasteland. It's not because I'm ever worried about dying. It's because I just like to be safer than sorry. When you're traveling is, you know, quite a decent amount uh, of distance to go anywhere. It's kind of nice to have that safety net just in case you do mess up and die. I've had it happen before, so I like to be safer than sorry. I've actually had to go... Uh, you know, almost five kilometers the one time because I screwed up and and died. Oh man, if I could shoot. Mutated zombie. And this is kind of why I hope to get the rad remover mod down there at the, at the uh, theme park there because Basically, most of what's going to be in here is either going to be radiated, uh, it's going to be demonic, or it's going to be feral, or a combination. So, and then you also have these mutated zombies, which are just ever so lovely and big and nasty, and oh yeah. So anyway, we're going to be using the same kind of, uh, of way to find our, uh, uh, find ourselves our titanium node as we used in that video I made. Uh, now we're not just going to do it that way. There is also, you know, the normal way of just uh, finding a surface node and then doing it that way. So that's just a mutated Night Stalker. Uh, for those of you who don't know, these actually count as animal kills. Uh, now I'm going to show you this with our, where are you at? Class quest. So it says kill any animals here, three of five. Now watch when I kill this guy. Unless it's because he's mutated, this doesn't work. But oh my god, I'm terrible. So you'll notice. We woke up everybody inside that building. But you'll notice uh, killing him actually increased it. And also getting the kill on either the spider or the dog did the same thing. Uh, but didn't mean to wake these guys up. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys that Night Stalkers count for animal kills. Why? I, I could not honestly tell you. Um, somebody in there is awfully unhappy with us. And they just blew up the car. I was waiting for that. They always blow up that damn car in the back. Uh, but anyway, we're going to push a little further in before we look for our node. Go away, Vulture. We're just going to come right up here to this corner. And we're going to go into the right side here. Anybody else? Oop, there's one more. Oh, it's a... Feral white. Nasty zombie there. Alright, so let's actually just do like this. Pop that down. 
All right, we're just going to head off, like I said, just over here to the right. Hopefully we don't step on any mines. Mines seem to love my ass in this game. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do not like mines in this game whatsoever. Um, I think we should probably clear the area a little bit better before we go underground. Let's get up on here. Like so. Let's start with the cop as soon as he sticks his head out. And stopped moving. Whatever. I don't have the patience for waiting. Alright, good enough for now. Let's get underground here and see what we can find. Of course. All right, in we go, one block over. Now we're going to have a look and see all these bits of bits of nodes. That's quite the one down there. That'd be a nice one to go to, but I want something closer to the surface like that one right over there. That should be right under the hill up there just past our bike. So that's the one we're going to head for because it's nice and close to the surface, and it's not too far away. That one's a little bit too small. Not going to mess with that, but that's a decent-sized one. Like I said, that should be basically at the top of the hill right over there so we're gonna head ourselves on over to that one and that's the one we're going to be using to look for our ore so that should be like right up here make sure nobody's around before we we start digging especially no behemoth don't want to mess with them Check, and we're actually pretty close. Just a little bit further up, so. Make sure nothing too much is around. I'm not too worried about a stray, stray zombie or two, but I don't want something like that. That is not something we want to see. Uh when we're trying to do this. So we're going to go ahead and kill him off in a minute. But in order to kill him off, we got to kill these ladies off. And there's a headshot. Oh, I missed. I hate when they zig and zag. I just let them come up to me at, at this point. I do not do the zigzag crap. I'm a terrible shot as it is. When something's going back and forth, I'm even worse. And here he comes. That's great. Now we don't have to... Beautiful. He even gave us a drop bag. I love when they're nice and give us drop bags. Thought I heard one more, but... Maybe not. Okay, good. And... Nothing great. Uh, it could have been a lot better. That was actually very disappointing. As far as loot from one of them goes. But... That's all right. Walter, you can go away. I'm not your I'm not your supper. Okay, there's one more. There we go. All right, let's try this again. Now if the interruptions are done. No, they're not. Okay, now they are done. So, all right, it, oh, we actually were a little bit off again, but that's all right. We're just going to tunnel on over to it. So, just go down a little bit more here, and then we're going to... Oh, we actually found... Uh, what did we find? Plutonium. So, we actually just managed to find ourselves a random plutonium uh, vein here, which is kind of interesting, but it's not what we want. So, we're going to... Gonna tunnel our way on over here a little bit. Just like so. We're actually just gonna get right down into this valley here. Go right underground. Because this is about where it should be, give or take. I mean it's not exact, but it should be close enough. Oh yeah, we're right there. Alright, let's tunnel on over. 
and there they are. So this is actually titanium. This is actually, this is what we're here for. Uh, titanium is the only resource I want from down here at the moment. Let that sand collapse out of our way. Later on, I'll be more worried about the plutonium and the uranium, but right now, uh, it is of no value to us. We're going to have to find ourselves some gas, too. But this nitrate-looking stuff here is the plutonium. So that is not what we're looking for. We are after the stuff that looks like lead, which, unfortunately, this looks like it's... Night Stalker up above us. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like everything in here is, as far as, like wall nodes is concerned is not what we're after but he's actually digging down to us that's okay let him come down we'll work on clearing out a bit of the crap while we wait for him he should be down here like any moment Or not. Well, whatever. We're not waiting for him. He comes down, we'll kill him when he gets down here. We're going to go ahead and start butchering through through these blocks. He's still trying, sounds like. You can still hear him. So, like I said, I'm not worried about him, though. As long as it's not a behemoth, I'm not. I'm honestly not too concerned with what's down here. Um, behemoth or, or any kind of demon is a little bit tougher right now, but we'll be just fine. We're not going to be down here in the night, so we won't have to deal with too many of the of the demons right now. But uh, we might run into some more behemoth. But they go down relatively, relatively okay. Uh, so I'm not too concerned with them either. But it looks like that's going to be about it for what we're going to get down here, unfortunately. Like I said, this is all, you know, plutonium and that is not going to help us out right now. So, a couple more of these boulders down here, which I want to scoop up. So that seems to be what we're getting our lovely bit of titanium from. So, I will take each and every one of these lovely little things. And again, this is kind of... Uh, uh, we got more company coming down now. Quite a bit more. Hopefully it's not a roaming horde. I don't want to get caught down here with a roaming horde. Although, probably wouldn't be too bad down here with a roaming horde because of all this crap that's in the way. But, oop, they're in here. Whoops, if I could quit getting hung up on stuff, I'm fine. Are you coming down, or what are you doing, zombie? There's an open hole. Oh, it's the Night Stalker blocking traffic. That's what it was. Alright, so, nice little piece of uh, moldy bread. Now, the moldy bread is actually pretty important. It gives us the coding tablets later on, so. And... Night Stalker does drop some pretty decent loot. But anyway, we got about 750 raw titanium, which is going to be plenty for what we need at the moment. Uh, we will be back later on once we get... Uh, okay, this thing wants to be wants to be a pain. Uh, but we will be back later on once we get the titanium auger made. So, let me jump. Okay. I hate when it wants to be a pain trying to get out of here. There we go. I'll just carve a nice hole then. Yeah, so we do have enough titanium for now. I am going to mark this spot on the map because this is a good little place to come and get some plutonium. There's tons of it down there. Um, we might as well take advantage of it because it's absolutely everywhere down there. So, Pluto is this spot. All right, now let's get back to our bike. Uh, we are going to get ourselves some gas quick while we're right here. Just like that. Let's get back to our bike. Now we could go and uh, get right to doing that quest. So uh, that quest is... 
Um, mark it right on the map. It's just outside the wasteland. Uh, that, it's actually not in the wasteland, which is actually kind of nice. That's a stupid screamer. I was expecting her to come a lot sooner than she did. That's one thing I have noticed in the wasteland. I seem to get a lot more screamers a lot more often. Um, which is okay with me. I really don't care. Uh, screamers don't bother me whatsoever. Um, I actually don't mind dealing with them. A lot of times early game, I will set up in like a mine. Like when I'm uh, mining like... Let's just use iron for instance. And I'll actually put down like just a ton of torches. Uh, so... I actually draw them to me because screamers drop some of the best loot in the game. Now here's a library which we already hit and it's just kind of funny because we were just here and our quest, our second part of our quest is right across the road here. So it's kind of funny how that ends up working out but we're going to drop our bedroll down here and we are going to switch our gear back if it's going to be nice and not give us any sort of radiation here. Beautiful. All right, couple zombies around. Nothing, nothing too tough to deal with. Not, not like being in the wasteland. The wasteland has a lot of zombies that are kind of a pain. Um, now we could go ahead and double loot this place. I'm not sure exactly what's in here, so uh, we're just gonna single loot it though, because I'm not sure if it's actually worth our time to, to double loot. Some places are absolutely, absolutely worth uh, double looting without a doubt but then again you're going to find some places that you go eh why the hell did I bother uh, so we're just going to oh eat me <laughs> stupid thing there now I'll place it back down that's locked okay they're both locked alright so what do we got to do we just need to clear out the sleepers oh that ain't too bad All right, everything's locked. This would be where the uh, um, the military tablet would be would be nice for clearing out the sleepers quest like this. It's really nice for something like that. Although this place really doesn't have a lot to it, so it's probably gonna be somebody up there. Which we can't we can't get a beat on them, but they're up above there, where the zombies are. Just gonna jump up here a little bit, and they're hiding up there somewhere. All right. Is it really only one zombie? Oh, you're kidding me. I think he's feral, too. Want to get a nice shot on him with the bow. You know what? It was really one zombie. Oh, my God. Seriously, that's all this quest was, was one zombie. You know, in a way, I kind of feel disappointed. <laughs> I was expecting a bit more than that. That was kind of... That just wasn't enough of a quest. I ain't gonna deny that. That was just... Hell, that wasn't, e that wasn't even worth the bother, to be honest. I'm not trying to sound mean or anything, but... Shit, for one zombie, I would have rather stayed in the wasteland and mined the plutonium we didn't need. <laughs> one zombie for a quest, though. I wonder what the reward's gonna be for this. You killed one zombie. Man, what would one zombie even be worth? Alright. Apparently it's worth more than I was expecting. You get an iron sledgehammer, an iron pick, or five first aid kits. Which I'm going to take the meds, of course, because no use for the other ones. Um, we still do have that quest for the military bunker, but that's not something we are going to do today. Um, you know, 
I think what we're going to do is we're going to head. Um, what did it give me now? The favor. This thing again? All right, we'll just do this quick. We're right here. Why not? You know, she does give pretty nice rewards, so I'm not going to complain about having to do her quest. All right, so all we need to do is grab this, which is right behind there. Um, that's actually locked. And yeah, we're not in the wasteland, so... Nothing's going to be too fast. Yeah, what we need is actually... Oh, no, it's actually under the table. I was assuming it was behind that thing there. Yeah. Quest done. These quests are so easy. It's almost... I don't know. Oh. Seriously. Cannot believe I missed that twice and he was just standing right there. Yeah, yeah. Radiation. I'm taking these. We come all this way. We're leaving with something good. Although I will say, the reward's going to be worth it, so. What's up here? actually stuff up here and there's no vultures impressive I was expecting to get like chewed on as soon as I pop my head out and what is oh it's an overturned refrigerator I was gonna say what is that he's gonna grab some of these crafting components quick uh, after we hand in this quest, we will just be returning back to base, and we're going to get that uh, titanium smelted down real quick so we can make ourselves our titanium power tools. Grab that up real quick. Let's get on out of here. So yeah, we're going to be making uh, one or both. I'm not sure yet. Uh, we might make both, depending... Just to get both of them done, because I do like both of them, so. Alright, antibiotics for sure. Alright, let's head on back to base. So I'll catch you guys back at base. I'm going to make sure that our, uh, oh, well, we actually need to level up too, don't we? No, no, we don't. We actually did level up. Alright, so let's grab this mastery up quick. And, yeah, I'll meet you guys back at base. We're going to get that titanium smelted down real quick. And then we're going to make ourselves some nice new tools. All right, guys, so we made it back. It's time to throw what we got right into here. Now, we can't do anything with the plutonium right now. Uh, you need to put that into a fusion forge, so that's not anything we can do. There's nothing we can do with that at the moment. Uh, so we got plenty of, of clay in here, so we're just going to chuck that stuff on in here. Just set this aside for now. Uh, it shouldn't be too long before we get ourselves a, a, a fusion forge. I mean, I don't foresee it being being all that long anyway uh, once we get it to the to the uh, the wasteland trader there uh, it should go pretty good for us to get that so this won't take too long to smelt on down now in order to make the forged titanium here we do need a crucible well just so happens for us we're going to rob that one out of there for now because we can and uh, I believe we only need 10 um, 10 titanium to make to make one of them so while that's going we're gonna come over here and we're going to get ourselves some handlebars made up so we need tape leather mechanical parts, iron pipe, and springs. So all we're going to need is actually tape and two more pieces of leather. So tape, two more pieces of leather. And the reason for that is we are making two of them. Uh, so 
one, two, just like so. And then we're just going to keep queuing this stuff up as we can. Uh, it doesn't take too long for it to for it to smelt down, and it's pretty quick as far as crafting goes. So it's not a big deal. And I know we didn't take much with us uh, from the wasteland, but you know we we're just there to pop in, grab just enough today to get ourselves the auger for now. Um, and start to make ourselves the titanium armor. Now, next time we go to the Wasteland, we will be going to the Wasteland Trader, and we're actually going to, uh, we're not going to the lab for a while yet, uh, by the way, just in case anybody's wondering. We're not going to the lab for quite a while yet. Uh, the lab is something that's going to have to wait until, um, Uh, until we get like a max, a max, uh, or row, at least the grade 71, uh, M4, or a fully maxed out, uh, M60. God, I could not think of what it's called. Some days it's just, just bad. Alright, so anyway, we're gonna need this. Um, if you guys are wondering exactly what the recipe is for this. Come right on in here, and you're going to need mechanical parts and an engine to go with your handlebars and forged titanium. Now, this is the same for the auger and the chainsaw. Exact same recipe. So, we have one engine here. I think we have more upstairs. Uh, it's either upstairs or in the drop chest here. Nope, must be upstairs then. I know they're somewhere. I gotta, I gotta sort through loot. Uh, I got quite the, quite the mess again. Uh, what I'm gonna do overnight, being it's almost time, it's almost dark time, is we're, I'm gonna be playing with our new titanium auger. I'm gonna take it over into the desert, find a nice little oil shale mine. Uh, we need some gas, as you guys can see. We're pretty much out of gas, so we're gonna need to get ourselves a little bit of that. Um, I'm not sure how much. Uh, Depends on how much I feel like mining. Probably will mine quite a decent amount. Um, but we, now that we have our titanium auger, uh, and we're going to be having our titanium chainsaw, it's going to be really nice for getting resources. Uh, basically, once I get that, the leveling up just starts to go fast. Um, like, really fast. Uh, because if you guys... Have not seen how quick a, a nice modded out titanium auger or titanium chainsaw can just chew through or it goes that's for sure uh, there's really no other way to put it but it goes um, now unfortunately we can't like take our items uh, in the workbench here and combine them to get like a higher grade as you can see you can repair them on this workbench but you can't like go up a grade uh, you can only go up to grade um, 41 on a regular workbench. Once we get to the to the laser workbench here, though, we will be able to get ourselves um, some max grade items. Now, I can't wait for that. I'm not in a hurry for it, to be honest, though. Um, but I always can't wait to get that, though. I mean, it's kind of nice to be able to have some have some nice max grade items. Um, Especially like the auger. Uh, I'm more worried about having my tools to the max grade. Because of the extra mod slots for stuff. But anyway, we are going to go and we are going to play with this just a little bit here for you guys on camera. Before before we end the episode. Um, let's just go right out here and let's actually just jump into our iron mine here. Nice crappy open iron mine. <laughs> uh Nothing too special, but you guys will see just how quick this sucker just chews through. And it's not even fully modded, no Iron Breaker mod in it yet, so... You guys can see it absolutely just goes ham. So, in just that quick, we already have over a full stack of iron. Um... Yeah, we got a diamond as well, and we got a silver nugget. 
So it's absolutely fantastic. I'm going to love playing with this thing overnight to get ourselves, like I said, a bunch of oil shale. Um, again, I'm not sure how, how quick we're going to be leveling up here, but I can guarantee you guys uh, now the levels are going to start racking up super quick. Uh, basically, every time I get the titanium auger, it's just insane how quick I can level up. But anyway, that's enough for this episode. I'm going to, I'm going to call it there and maybe next episode we'll go take a look at, at the Wasteland Trader. Maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll go take a run up there, check out the Wasteland Trader, um, and see what we can do see what we can buy from her so anyway thank you guys so much for being here i hope you guys enjoyed this episode it's just a little short wasteland episode we have a lot more stuff to do before we go and actually do like some serious playing around in the wasteland quite a ways to go before we get to the lab but we will get there probably not too long actually from now uh but we will be getting there soon probably after horde night and that's going to be a blast for sure. So thank you guys again so much for being here. And we'll catch you guys for the next one.